In the Roadshow Kitchen on this Monday morning, thanks to GoProvidence.com, Chef James English is here from KG Kitchen. We got some seared duck breast over Brussels sprouts salad. I love Brussels sprouts. This is going to be a unique way of kind of putting this together. How are you? Doing well. How about yourself? Good, good. Thanks so much for, uh, for being with us yeah, today. Thanks for having um, me. Explain to us what we're going to make and then what we need to put this together. Absolutely. So what we're doing today is a pan seared duck breast going over a warm salad with uh, Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, apples, beets, pistachios, and goat's cheese with okay. a little bit of a horseradish vinaigrette. Um, so what you have uh, in front of you is all you're gonna need to make this dish. Um, the duck breast, of course, um, you can get that at, at your local uh, grocery store. A lot of times it's, it comes frozen. Right. Um, so you gotta plan ahead for that. Make sure you have to give it time to defrost because you definitely don't wanna cook this from frozen. Okay. Um, we have the Brussels sprouts, which are actually gonna keep raw. Uh, the sweet potatoes, which are just cubed up and we're gonna roast those off today. Yep. The apple, which we are also gonna keep raw. Um, the beets we're gonna roast, and then we're gonna make a little vinaigrette, toss it all together, so it's actually a very simple preparation. Simple and easy to, simple to put easy. together. Yep. Um, if I'm going to the market, a lot of people cook chicken, they'll cook steaks. What do you need when, you, when you're cooking duck? What do you need to look for? Um, so when you're cooking duck, what you wanna look for is um, the size of duck breasts that you want. They do come in different sizes. Um, I recommend about an eight ounce portion because it will shrink up a little bit, mm -hmm. so it'll make a nice uh, single size serving. Um, and again, the thing about duck breast is it does have a th that thick layer of fat on that's the top what, of it. That's what's right on top Absolutely, here, right? Absolutely, yeah. So uh, much more fat on it than you would see on a chicken or a turkey. So what you need to know about this is um, we're going to score the fat with a knife before we start cooking it. That'll allow the fat to render out a little bit while we're cooking it. And um, also, we're going to start it on a cold pan and bring it up very slowly. Okay. So that um, will give us a nice crispy skin on the outside. Right. Um, without having too much fat in there. Okay. It's all going to All right, later. all good. So we'll put this together. Also talk with uh, with James about KG Kitchen as well. Back to you. Now we want to send things back into the kitchen. Michaela, take it away. Hey, thanks so much. GoProvidence.com has brought us Chef James from KG Kitchen. And we have got a delicious uh, kind of fall salad happening and some duck breasts, which I know you were talking about yeah. the process of cooking duck. Right. Really important that you listen to this guy if you're going to take it on. Because like you said, the fat alone can, yeah. can look intimidating. Exactly. And if you do it wrong, you're going to end up with, with a seared piece of meat with still a lot of squishy fat in there. And that's yeah. not what you want when you're duck, no. eating duck. You want a nice crispy skin duck. Beautiful. So you've yeah. already got that going because like you said, you have to start it with a cold pan. Exactly. So it takes a little bit of time. So I've got it going over a uh, very low flame right now uh -huh. and we're just letting it just uh, let that fat render out, sizzle very lightly and okay. we're going to let that turn nice and golden brown on the underside. Awesome. Um, you also have some here. vegetables. Yeah. So I started roasting these beets a lot earlier today. We're going to pull those beets. out of the oven now. I'm peeling and cutting those in a second and okay. we're going to get these sweet potatoes in. So these are just some diced up sweet potatoes. We're going to hit them with a little bit of olive oil, mm -hmm. a little bit of salt, black pepper. I noticed that whenever chefs season, it's always from the top. Is they, there a method they, to yeah, that? Yeah, so they, the saying is season from the sky. And uh, all you're trying to do is when you season from higher, it gives the seasoning a little bit of uh, like dispersal. Okay. So you get much more even seasoning when you season from higher up. So you don't get that one that's coated in pepper exactly, when you bite into yeah, it. Your yeah. mouth's on fire. So throw those in. <laughs> And uh, this oven's at 450 degrees. Those are going to roast for about 10 to 15 minutes until they're nice golden brown color for they you. They were smaller chunks, so they don't need as much time as exactly. the typical sweet potato. Yes. Okay. Um, you also prepped some other vegetables here. Did you yep. use a mandolin for these? I they're didn't. Those so are hand cut, but if you have wow. a mandolin at home, that's definitely a quicker, easier way to go. They are so thinly sliced. These are Brussels sprouts, they are. right? Yep. Unbelievable. Okay, well, that's nice to know, too. If you're a little intimidated by that whole crunch of Brussels sprouts, why not kind of shred them exactly. like you did here? So we're going to keep those raw for the salad just for that, that crunchy texture mm -hmm. that we're going to get from those Brussels sprouts. Beautiful. So Absolutely. we have our beets done. Our sweet potatoes are in the oven. Our duck is slowly rendering out that fat. We'll finish up our dish in just a bit. Stick around. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Thanks to our friends at GoProvidence.com. Chef James English is here. KG Kitchen's the place here. Duck breast over Brussels sprout salad is what we are making this morning. Mm -hmm. That's right. Looks good. All right. So, had this breast rendering out for a little while now. It's ready to be flipped over. That's so, golden brown. Yeah. Had to heat up a little bit higher now. Okay. Put that golden brown color on there. So now that we flip it, we're actually just going to... Pop it right on in the oven to finish up for us. Okay. You said also when you if you get the duck breast, it comes there's a lot of fat usually on it. Yes. So you kind of just let it 
Let, let it go, it go low and slow. Let it go. And then once it's it's starting to turn a little golden brown for you, it's going to start to unstick from the pan, and then right. you can start to slowly turn the heat up. Okay. And just uh, you know keep an eye on. And it. sear that fat too. Right? Exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah. You want to uh, cut it mm -hmm. so it, the fat will render out. Right. For you. So while that's finishing up, we're going to put together our uh, salad real quick. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, uh, make our salad dressing first. So we got our Dijon mustard. Throw that on in there. Yeah. Oops. A um, little bit of apple cider vinegar. A little bit of honey here. Mm-hmm. Good flavors coming horse together. Horseradish. Because beets and horseradish. Nice love horseradish. Right together. Yeah. And then, beets uh, and horseradish go well oil. together? Oh, yeah. Really? Classic huh. combination. They're so good together. I never knew that. Olive oil there. Salt and pepper. Pepper. Grab our whisk. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Sure. Mix that together, and mm -hmm. that mustard in there is going to emulsify all your uh, oils and vinegar together, so you're going to kind of get a loose emulsion going in okay. right there. Mm. That's that, and um, we're actually going to grab some beets. Okay. So we'll throw those right on in there. And you had roasted those. Yep, earlier. these are roasted off beets that we uh, just cut during the break. Also, there. so good. Okay. Yep. Uh, so we got our apples here. <clears throat> Throwing those right on in there. Smith. Yeah, so you can use whatever you like. I personally like the uh, the tartness of the Granny Smith. Me too. These uh, shaved raw Brussels sprouts. Throw those right on in Would there. Would you just put them on each one of them on a little shredder to shred them? If you have a shredder at home, you can definitely use that. I did this just with a knife. Oh, all right. Um, so you know you can. Because he's a pro. Because he's a professional. Without <laughs> Got it. worrying about his yeah, fingers. Right. It's okay. Exactly. So yeah, season that with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, mm -hmm. and uh, just give that a little toss. Toss it all Seasoning together. Seasoning all the layers. There. Absolutely. So. Um, oh, actually, uh, sweet potatoes. Oh, sweet potatoes, too. We need sweet <laughs> potatoes. Oh, you know, they're right near the fridge. <laughs> Hang on, hold on one second. I got sweet potatoes. There, there you go. Sweet potatoes. You see what just jump right in there, yeah. Good all right, color, so good yeah. All ingredients. Now, nice fall salad going on here. Mm. So that's all the base is going to be right there. We're going to oh, put that so together. That looks good. Yeah. And then we'll uh, add our goat cheese and our pistachios to it after we get this going. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got a plate here. You know what? I'll, you know I'm going to move some of the stuff Absolutely. out of your way. That way, it'll give you a little extra space. And while you're getting ready to plate, chef. Is this something that's on the menu over This is something I'm cooking special for you today. Okay. Um, you can find things like this um, on our specials. We do do daily specials every night. Um, oh, yeah, so too. there's we get to be a little more creative on those specials, kind of bring in some uh, nice, fresh, um, whatever we're feeling. If it's right. some yeah. good seafood, we'll bring in some seafood. If we want to do duck this weekend, then we'll bring in some duck. Right. Right. Any that. ingredient that's fresh and Absolutely. you're finding. Absolutely. So I'm just going to plate this up. Okay. That looks so good. So where are you in uh, in in Providence? So we're located at uh, 771 Hope Street. If you're familiar with the Hope Street area, it's kind of right where um, all the restaurants are right. on the strip there. Um, you know, we're an American bistro. Mm -hmm. um, we do we have burgers, we have fish and chips, and then we'll have uh, great local seafood, um, everything from entrees to, to salads. Yep, to something for everybody there. That looks great. good. That yeah. looks so good. So we're gonna got that. Now we're just gonna crumble some goat cheese right over the top. I would eat it just like yeah. that. Me too. So, so that just give you a nice little pop of color right there. Mm -hmm. Now this duck has been in for a few minutes now. We're shooting for a little medium rare on this. So. Okay, so that's that's how we can serve duck. Yeah, so like so duck is, is um, you can definitely eat duck anywhere from rare to well done, depending on your personal preference. Okay. Um, it's not the same as like eating chicken or turkey, where you need to make you sure really it's cooked to, to 165. Okay. Um, they do recommend you cook duck to 165. Just you know, any undercooked meat is you know, right. Is it? Yeah, you always potentially. Yeah. Um, yeah. But duck is you know you can cook duck right. I say. Fine yes. to serve that. It'll be all right. Now, do you let this sit for a little yeah, while? Yeah. So and then like any it meat, up? we're gonna let this rest ideally for about. You know, you want to let it rest for 10 minutes. I okay. do have one okay. I cooked off a little bit earlier today. Great. Uh, just for this, so. Beautiful. Right grab that, get gonna grab that, that and we'll show you what this looks like. And then I know too. you have those little pistachios. Yeah, so the pistachios, the we're too. gonna finish it up. An extra crunch. Look how Duck beautiful that there. salad is. Well, if you want this and recipe so you can try and make it yourself at home, head on over to roadshow.com. Enjoy.